Hi, this is Christelle Martinet, and I'll be starting my reading in just a few minutes. Uh, before the reading, I wanted to say a couple of things, uh, because I get asked, and I'm sure that you're thinking, um, why do I put out a sex, love, and rock and roll f reading for every month? What's the difference between that and my regular um, zodiac reading, astrology reading, uh, for the different astrological signs? Um, it's not an astro astrological reading, it's for the zodiac signs. What is the difference? Well, um, as a child, my mother was a seamstress, and she always told me, you know, if you have to go to bed, you put a pajamas on. When you wake up, you wear a robe. When you go swimming, you wear a bathing suit. When there's a, a moment, there's a role for every moment, and there are clothes for every moment. And and there's language, for my, my studies have taught me that there's language for certain things, and you need to use the proper words to name th certain things. Regular readings don't go into the topic of sex. They don't go into, they do at a different level, and they don't always speak of love, and they surely don't speak of our shadow sides all of the time. And plus, I do these readings with a certain, using a certain language and a certain, um, uh, the attire uh, to get in the mood just like my meditation so um, this is just a preamble to let you know why there are two different readings and I hope you enjoy them both I'll be with the re I'll be with you in a second with the reading hello ladies and gentlemen this is Christelle Martinet with another reading um, for the month of November and I'm reading now for my last group, which is the fire signs. My fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, um, and I'm also very decked out <laughs> and I'm ready to play the part <laughs> and I'm ready for Halloween. <laughs> and um, I'm going to, I have the... Um, so I took off the mask, put on my glasses, or else I won't see a thing. <laughs> um, but I'm still in the mood. Uh, my my fire signs. Um, I have the, the tarot here, the, the Casanova tarot deck. And it's um, been working beautifully for the other um, element signs. And I just am enjoying this, really enjoying it this time. And I um, let's see what this has in store for you. What these um, the month of November has in store for you, my fire signs. Let's see. I'll lay a seven card spread. So there'll be three, a focus card, and three. And then I can mirror the meanings of the cards. Some interesting, some other, I don't remember for what other sign, but there was um, similar cards for another uh, group of, uh, of signs I can't remember now exactly. <laughs> All right, let me show you these one by one. Um, this is the Ace of Wands. It's shooting up from the canal. This usually, the gondolas, um, the gondolas have uh, a, a, a staff in the front usually, and uh, this is on the water. Um, a very, very phallic symbol here, very, very powerful uh, sexual sign promise. And here we have the um, the chariot, and the chariot here shows you a man and a woman here um, embraced, and um, and there's a um, a, a, a uh, person driving the wagon there. Then we have this. Ten of Wands, which is a very interesting ten. It came out for another, another group. Uh, here you have um, a, a player uh, at the craps table, and it's typically, you know, a risk. This is a risk, and it's more a risk also, not for what he is doing, but also for the people watching. There are four people and as many masks, except for another man. Okay. And um, and he himself has a mask, and he's he's risking his um, his reputation. All right, so so this burden is really a risk. And here we have this two of pentacles. Now the two of pentacles here 
is quite different from what we're, what are we seeing here? We're seeing what could possibly be um, uh, a modern day swingers club. We have three couples there that, that, you know, just frolicking around, but we don't see switching here. What we do see is um, th three couples, there are three couples there, they can see each other but they are very much engrossed in themselves and it almost is, it, is as if there could be the risk of or the promise of depending on how you see it and depending on the cards around this this is the focus card so this is a a, a switching all right this is like a switching card where you can suggest swinging you can suggest the switch role there are changes right the two of um of pentacles does talk about balancing out different changes and it's very interesting this card for us let's see then we have this um eight of cups all right now look at this eight of cups there's another recurring theme in this um in this deck which is the uh, voyeurism and there's a gentleman there watching there's a couple here and they could have you know locked the door but they haven't and so they don't really give a damn who sees them this is the eight of cups and so you can see that the eight of cups does take on a different meaning in this deck compared to other decks but what are we seeing we're seeing this voyeurism again you know, you can see and not see people with masks, some, and here where there are no masks. And here we have the um, Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands with a mask. Mostly, mo I think all of the Knights, if not, well, most of them have masks. And um, there again, there's one wand, two wands, three wands, the very, you know, passion of the fire uh, elements here. Very strong month for you, very strong, passionate month for you. Um, and the last is an earth sign, a king or the earth sign energy. Uh, very slow, pondering, thinking. This is the king of pentacles. Completely masked. You cannot even see his chin. Now, it is as if something is hidden and you're going very, very slowly towards that. Now, what do we have here? We have these two. So there is, the, the message here is that you're going toward passion. You're going toward the act, actually, very slowly. And you're pondering very, very long. There's a lot at stake here. There's a lot hidden. There's a lot hidden here. Now, two movement cards, the chariot and the fiery knight, um, typically a slower moving and a faster moving vehicle and horse is a faster, well, even if this is carrying something, so it, it would be slower, but they both are moving somewhere. You, this may be a, um, you actually going away on, um, on a trip for whatever reason and, um, and it's a risk because it's leading to our risk and it also is is leading to something hidden let's take a look a bird's eye view at the end and use our Sevilla to seek it some more information and these two what is this pair telling us well this pair is telling us that both of them are risking this seems to be a very risky month for you um, almost as if you are trying to risk this is what you're looking for um, now what do we have? This, of the two, could you imagine which is the calculated risk? Which can you calculate more? Okay, this is a, a conundrum. This is a, a difficult, um, a can you, how much control do you have of getting up off that table and walking away instead of losing everything? And how much here control do you have after this and how much will remain with you how much will be taken from you and how much is given to you and how much you take away all right now um uh, this spread 
along with this two of pentacles, is talking to me about risks. It's talking to me about moving toward risks and moving towards something hidden. Something hidden, moving towards. But there is an underlying, very passionate nature, nature here. There's hot stuff here. There's, there's a lot of going on. And the, um, the idea of change and switching and swinging, okay, um, is prominent. So let's, uh, let's, why don't we take, first of all, I'd like to illuminate that too, which is very enigmatic because it, it leaves us open to many different interpretations. Uh, let's see if I could, let's see if I could see, let's see what it, um, what could, what it could be telling us. Man, you know, um, I'm getting again, we've got this uh, horse, we've got the rider, we've got the, the trip. As if you are, uh, many of you, if not most of you, are on, a, on uh, leaving, you're going, all right? And there's a room here, there's an empty room. This is stanza, typically um, a place for communication. You can see the inkwell there. Uh, but there's no one in the room. There's no communication. But there's intimacy, but no communication. And then a, a lover. Okay, in this case it's a female lover, but it could be a male or female. Now, this is going in one direction, this is going in another direction, and there is an empty room. So the Two of Pentacles is trying to tell us that if you're going to switch, and if you're going to swing, and if you're going to change and shift cards on the table, you know, that crap's table, There's the risk of remaining alone for whatever reason. It's a very prevalent risk. Let's move these cards around. Let's imagine for just a moment that this lover is going to the room and this person is going into that room. They're coming together. This would be filled. The room of communication would be filled. Um, they did come out this way. Let's imagine that we can then change the cards on the table because our free will tells us that um, our sex drive is one thing, our mind is another, and how we, um, we wed those two to get what we want. You know, this, is, this spread here is talking to me about a very strong sex drive, movement towards something that is risky business. There is the possibility of remaining without communication. You're risking that, but you're pondering very clearly what your passions, where your passions bring you, and what has not yet emerged, and what is hidden. Okay, you're very subdued. You're very seduced by something that's hidden, and you're very um, full of of that passionate energy. I'm going to now take the the um, the the eight of cups. The eight of cups. All right, the eight of cups here. So speedy, finally, finally, after so long. All right. The woman with uh, the Mar Donna Maritata, the married woman, or the woman with children, the protective woman. And there's this Gran Consolazione, a very big consolation, but an economic consolation we see here. We know that money is not all, and we know that um, monetary value also has a, is the language of many people's love language, you know, that they use monetary value and values in general as, as a. a language of love. Now this is to illuminate the Eight of Cups. Um, there is, all right, let, let me put it this way. Um, someone is protecting themselves, has been protecting themselves for far too long, all right? So this card is saying, all right, this is why you're risking. Enough is enough. Let's go get what we want, we deserve it, all right? Now, 
And this has been after a long time. You have been celibate, all right, for a long time. In your mind, you put a stop to much of the activity, the sexual activity in your life, willingly. All of a sudden, I'd like to say you've come to your senses, but all of a sudden, fire signs, new fire signs are coming into your own and you're going out and getting what you want. This is telling me you need to still protect yourself some way. There is something extremely important coming in, my fire signs, um, and it will also be in the form of monetary value in the hands either of a loved one, in the hands or, or in, um, how can I put it, um, they will be a stepping stone to something else. Okay, this is what I'm seeing here. This is what I'm seeing here. Um, let me see three more cards on this uh, piece. gambling table. And the risk there, the risk there. Okay, here too, the gambling table. Very happy with your friends and family. In, in the month of November, sex, love, and rock and roll. The love is coming in. And here we have, the, however, this, uh, this, these, this jewelry. Presente di pietre preziose. These are gifts. Gifts to no one. Because there's no one here. And they run the risk of being robbed, stolen from it's close to the window. They're open for everyone to see. Um, and I'm, talking, I'm not talking about someone coming in through sex to rob your heart. No. You may leave yourself, your flank open. You may leave yourself too open. And this is telling us that you need to keep those cards closer to your, to your vest, to your chest because you can risk, again it's telling me, the same message here, alone. Okay, you risk being alone. Now, um, or having things stolen from you, you know. Now this is, um, it may seem to my fire uh, friends as being um, an ominous message, but what do we have? Let me summarize before I close, because it's not. I like to, I like to put out the warning signs for you, because I see things that are, could be some warnings. But what do we have? We have your extreme passion coming in after, I would say, years, if not more. Um, anywhere from months to years, but you willingly act, uh, did accept a, a, a vow of celibacy for many of you for a certain period of time. You're going toward, you are drawn toward something that is hidden. It gives, it fires up your passion. You are definitely moving to get what you want. And you're really don't care who sees you and you're risking quite a bit if not all and the consideration is let me try it let me try it let's see what will work what is what will work switching swinging or changing in some way okay so th there is this month for my fire friends, uh, there is a risk. You are risking, okay? You have taken a risk. You have put it in your mind that you want to risk, and you're going to do it. It will be interesting. Let me know how it goes. Fire friends, I hope this is of help. Namaste, my friends. It was a pleasure. I'll be reading with you again soon. Bye-bye.